Okay, welcome to Advent of Code. We are solving day nine today. I think stream is live. Recording is should be live. Let me last check. Yes, everything is live. Uh, let's get down to it. Smog basin. In this case seem to be lava tubes. Parts are even still volcanically active. Small hair You can model how smoke flows through the caves. You might be able to avoid it and be that much safer. Uh, height map of the floor of the nearby caves. Your puzzle input. Smoke flows to the lowest point of the area it's in. For example, consider the following height map. Each number corresponds to the height of the particular location where 9 is the highest and zero is the lowest location it can be. Okay, uh, your first goal is to find the low points, locations that are lower than any of its adjacent locations. Most locations have four adjacent locations, some down locations on the edge of corner, map has three or two adjacent, okay. Diagonal location, and, uh, okay. In the above example, there are four low points, uh, all highlighted to, uh, in the first, you know, this highlighting is like, it's so subtle, I, it's, you know, I can see it, but it's so subtle. Okay, seems like the risk level of low point is 1 plus its height, k, okay, so 2166, the sum, the risk levels. Okay, this seems very straightforward, right? Very straightforward, and we've been doing it's an example here. Uh, let's copy our input. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, input is something, it's bigger. Uh, I don't think we need visualization here because it would be hard, well, not for part one, at least part one is just uh, all about parsing some, um, yeah, just parse it, yes. So basically parse, input for line no 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 lines would be string split input session okay now for each line we want map the lines and for each line what we want is um, basically map okay so this is line we want to map v and now we have a string like this and we, we need to convert it to numbers so we basically take the string uh, and what we do is because it will be characters uh, yeah basically like this okay so let's parse example okay yeah this always gets me okay everything uh, we don't return anything right wait what No, what? Ah, oh, we don't save example. Okay. Seems to work. Let's also write a function um, with is count first map and height like yeah it's not mu that much shorter but it communicates intent right we know what we want uh, from this function okay now we can probably solve it so the way we solve it we just go over each number All right map x y and it's basically and and map y x okay okay um f 
four y range zero height map okay well, first we need map map is going to be parse okay so it probably shouldn't be called a map the term can we use height map let's call it heights let's call it floor because map is uh, is already bounded in closure and as long as we don't use it it's fine but it's really easy to forget about it and start using it and then you don't know what's going on range zero with floor let me check the spelling that's all right basically This our oh sorry I forgot that we need to conj this thing. Okay, uh with So we should do that to pass coordinates, right? Because neighbors returns vector, so it's easier for us. And vector is a single value, like two values is hard to work with. Um, An example, and basically, what we need to do with this is we reduce it, right? So, 15 is answer for, for an example, it's correct. Um, let's six or three, okay. Six or three. That's the right answer. Let's see what the second part has for us. So second part will probably be like proper task, right? So this is why this one is not even interesting. Uh, but given from the setup, I suspect we will need to flow somehow this smoke. Uh,
Next, you need to find the largest basin so you know what areas are most important to avoid. A basin is all locations that eventually flow downward to a single low point. Therefore, every low point has a basin, although some basins are very small. Locations of height 9 do not count as being in any basin, and all other locations will always be part of exactly one basin. Since size of a basin is the number of locations within the basin, including the low point. The example above has four basins. Top left basin size 3. Okay, so this is separated by 9s, right? The top right basin size 9. Okay. Yes, yeah, basically separated by 9s. The middle basin size 14. The bottom right basin size 9. Find the three largest basins and multiply their sizes together in the above example. This is uh, 9 by 14 by 9. Okay, what do you get if you multiply the size? Okay, so <sighs> now it is a problem. Okay, <laughs> now it's, it's interesting at least. Um, what do we do? How do we solve it? We start at one point, we spread until it's filled, right? And mark everything as visited. Then we find the next point, start from there, and mark everything as visited, kind of. Sounds all right. Sounds all right. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so we probably need a function to like find basin right okay let's let's write a function called find basin Defin find basin and it's floor and x y so there's a point where we start where we start and the way we solve it with my favorite loops we have um border which is um, just x y for now right we have visited which is all which is empty set and basically the border is empty return visited right otherwise we take one from the border put it into visited Don't really need uh, okay, so if it's already visited, we just record and drop it from the border, otherwise what do we do? Mm. We take its neighbors and add them to the border, right? So 
Oh, we don't need yet, it's just visited. And here we say in the border neighbors pause and conch visited pause, right? Cont plus. Okay, this is unfortunate. Why am we don't have a cont plus? Or okay, uh, we don't return anything. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's call calculate the basin for zero zero in um, example, right? Yes. Uh, it's too much. Oh, yeah, we forgot. Ah, fuck. Mm. If the height is nine, we need stop to stop. We, we don't have that. Okay. Okay, so this gives us this tree, which makes sense. So top right would be like this, right? Is it correct? I don't know. And now we write a loop. Uh, so what we do is we need to split into basins uh, so basically we'd say for well, maybe loop is simplest uh, so we keep visited right it's a set of everything what we've seen basins uh, basins is whatever like that x is zero y is zero okay so uh, right if y is bigger than uh, height floor right what do we do we return basins right if x is bigger than width of the floor we recur Sorry, we recur with visited basins zero and increment y, right? Mm. If visited contains x, y, um, we just keep it, right? We just um, Recur. We move to the next x. Okay, so now um, this basically we scan over everything. You already have lower minimums from part one. You can start expanding here. <gasps> You're right. This is smart. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't thought about it. Yes, yes. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. Thank you. This actually makes so much sense. Um, okay. Let's call a function a minimum. All right. And uh, here we return this coordinate. Minimums uh, floor. Um, then we map them with while at floor 
Okay, four, all right. No, ah, no, no, no. Uh, yeah, we forgot to add one. some reason uh, no, this becomes very simple then um, okay so floor is this minimums is is this right Basins is map basin minimums. Uh, unfortunately, we need uh, floor here. Okay, um, and what we need to do is we take this, we uh sort by count reverse and we take three right we take three and we reduce multiply one that's our answer Okay, we yes. Hash set can be cast to numbers. Okay, so we actually need to don't need this, we just can count X. Eleven thirty four, yes. Seven, eight, six, boom, yay. Thank you for this advice. Uh, it was very helpful. Not every basin has minimal in part one. The basin can have two minimals next to each other, which will be filtered out from. Uh, I know, I know that, okay, so, wait, what? So basically what we do is we calculate extra. How does it work then? Yeah, I agree with that not everyone, ba not every basin has minimal in part one. No, no, like, yes, the basin can have two minimals, right? So it's probably wrong. We, we need to remove um, the duplicates, probably. Right? Uh, let's see. So we do this. There is the dupe. Well, this the dupe is not what we want. This only removes consecutive duplicates. We can actually make it a set. This will remove duplicates.
this is probably more more correct one we we sometimes calculate extra but that's all right uh, about zero and one in reduce i know they're not needed uh, but I feel like calmer when they're there. I only always like to know what where I stamp, start from. Um, basically, it just like reduce with plus and with a minus is kind of special case, and I don't like special cases. I like 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 if i write reduce that does minimal for example right i would probably i don't know what minimal returns by the way it doesn't return anything so i can't write like reduce min right uh and for most of the stuff you you can't omit this so like the fact that you can do that for plus and multiply i don't like to exploit it, kind of. Uh, no, I'm not uh, putting um, sizes. I put um, the, the basins themselves, not the sizes. So that's, that should be all right. It should be all right, yeah. I, I yeah first uh, I first wrote count here but then I realized it would remove too much so yeah we can map count actually here and then sort reverse uh, and also kind of like sort reverse is such a unnecessary operation uh, and you can't pass comparator to So this will do the same, right? Yeah. So it sorts in a way that we need. Alternatively, we could take uh, last three, not the first three, but uh, I don't know how to do that really. Sort bigger, oh yeah, that's, wait, what? How does that work? Shouldn't comparator return plus one, zero, minus one? Hmm. Maybe I don't understand it. Uh, if no comparator is applied, this is compare. Comparator must implement Java util comparator, guaranteed to be stable. Equal elements will not be reordered. If call is Java array, it will be modified to avoid this sort a copy of the array. That's why I like closure, right? Sometimes it returns new, sometimes it sorts in place. Um, so I suppose this implements comparator somehow. This implements comparator. Oh my god. No. How does it work? Why can you pass this to compare? Even annotated with Java YouTube comparator.
a function. Okay, so a function implements comparator. Ah, uh, so it like it calls itself, and if it's a boolean, uh, returns minus one, and then it takes it. <laughs> okay, uh, that's that's funny. Okay, yeah, I get. Um, what keyboard do you use? Do you have a post about what gear do you use? Like once and use this dot com. I think I have post exactly on use this. Yeah, that's me. I hope that answers your question. Uh, this is old-ish. Yeah, 2018, so this is not relevant. Um, this laptop uh, I don't use. It was not very powerful, unfortunately. This monitor I used for five or seven years, like very long time. It's my first 4K display uh, from when it was just conceived uh, like when they just started selling to 4k displays I, I i got one in my first macbook even didn't support I, I think yeah it was 2012 or 2013 when i got this and i sold it like last year or something yeah. i now use 4k 120 gigahertz uh keyboard is wrong trackpad i do use but i think there is a new one uh, iPad I use, but different. Phone is different. Yeah, everything is different. <laughs> okay, uh, this one is true. I still, I still use those. Uh, those are great. Uh, Nintendo Switch, yes. Projector, no. Uh, VS Code, no. Git Cracker, no. Yeah, so don't don't pay attention. Um, uh, so what keyboard I use? I use a keyboard called Helix. Looks like this. It actually looks like a little bit different now with different uh, key caps. That's yeah, two halves, low profile, not wireless, unfortunately. Um, yeah, I like it. Like my hands hurt when I use non-split keyboard, but with split one, I'm uh, mostly happy. Why is it task definition? All basins have only one minimum. A basin is all locations that eventually flow downwards to a single low point. Why did I stop using sculpt? Um, because I, I don't know, I don't, I don't remember. Maybe I wanted to try um, split keyboard or mechanical keyboard and something like that. Uh, also on Sculpt, um, it's, it's a great keyboard, but like the feeling of the keys is not super perfect. It's like uh, rubber dome, uh, it's not mechanical, so yeah, mechanical kind of slightly better. Uh, but it, it was kind of good for your hands, certainly. Yeah, I, I want this one, yeah. Well done. Okay, uh, I think that's it. Thank you for joining uh, and see you tomorrow. Bye bye.